Good evening, Juanita Phillips with ABC News. Communities across New South Wales breathed a collective sigh of relief this morning as they woke to dramatically cooler temperatures. The Premier says it's remarkable that the state's come through the past 24 hours without loss of life. But hundreds of thousands of hectares have been burnt, several communities are still on high alert and the danger is not over yet. In the past few minutes, the Prime Minister and the Premier have announced natural disaster assistance will be available to residents in 37 local council areas. Philippa MacDonald has this report and we warn you it contains images that some viewers might find distressing. The fires continue to burn. We seem to have got through yesterday, which was predicted to be perhaps the most dangerous fire danger day that uh, the state had ever faced, uh, without uh, uh, the loss of life. But don't breathe a sigh of relief just yet. The crisis isn't over. This fire is still uh, alive. Vast tracts of land have been burnt out in the state's southwest. It's uh, my in-law's property down there. Um, they managed to save the house and the shearing shed, but they did lose uh, a number of the other, other buildings, yeah. The Premier met with firefighters. Many haven't slept for a couple of days. Across the state, 343,000 hectares of land has been burnt and the stock losses are heavy. Around Yass and Harden, it's estimated 10,000 sheep have been killed. Many more are struggling. The farmers can't put down the sheep until the insurance people come. Properties are, are going to be really feeling it and it's going to take a toll both emotionally and financially. 134 bushfires are still burning across New South Wales. A quarter of them are out of control. Close to Cooma, the picture is bleak. One home has been lost at Yarrabin. Locals are anxious. Of course, we've packed up a fair bit of gear. You can never get it all, so we'll just got what we can and go when we're told to. I've moved my horses into town and I've got the car packed and the kids are at my mum's. A total fire ban remains in place. The fire danger ratings have now been changed to reflect a new threat in the north of the state. A severe danger warning is now in force for the Hunter, the north coast and northwestern New South Wales. The danger remains very high in much of the rest of the state. We are going to see um, uh, severe fire dangers extending from uh, the Greater Hunter all the way through to the Queensland border and right out to our western areas in places like Moree. The federal opposition leader today joined the fight. The difference between what happens in the parliament and what happens on the fire ground is that uh, uh, this is not contentious. 500 fire trucks and thousands of firefighters remain on standby. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.